Another year, same problems, huh? You set another big ass goal for yourself and you would love nothing more than to walk into the end of 2023 and look back at 2022 and be like, damn, I really crushed that shit. The only problem is you've done this before. You set the big ass goal. You got really motivated. You even worked towards the goal for a month, maybe two. And then things changed. You lost that oomph. You lost that drive. You lost that motivation to keep going after it consistently. Then you started trying the positive affirmations, the positive thinking, all that stuff. And that shit wasn't working for you either. That's okay. I've been there. I've been there before. But today I'm going to show you a different way of motivating yourself, a different way for you to reignite that flame in your belly. But it's going to take you to do one thing. I'm going to need you to drop all that positive shit for a second. And we're going to have to visit the dark side. Yes, that's right. I'm talking about using dark motivation. Probably something you haven't heard of. But I'm going to share with y'all why you should be using this at some points to go after your goals. Now, before we talk about why you guys should be using dark motivation, it, it might help if we cover what it means. So with that being said, dark motivation is the more hidden, less talked about side of motivation. But in my honest opinion, it's a little bit more powerful of a motivator. It's a little bit more effective if used correctly. Dark motivation is about, instead of running from those negative emotions like you normally do, you take those negative emotions, you embrace them, you caress them, you make them into your friends. Instead of being broken by those negative emotions, you use them as fuel to achieve a goal or something. Now, a lot of people look at negative emotions and they see it as an obstacle. They see it as a hurdle. And it is very true. You don't want to live in negative emotions. But what you'll find is that successful people tend to use negative emotions to their advantage. And that's because they realize that a negative emotion is very high energy. The only problem is most people use negative emotions in the wrong way. Let me explain. I know you've had a bad day, maybe after a breakup or something, a family member died that you just wake up and you just do not want to get out of that bed. The sadness, the depression, it just will not let you out of that bed. Think about how powerful those negative emotions were that day. Those emotions were able to cripple you. Your goal didn't mean anything. What you were supposed to do that day didn't mean anything. That emotion was able to cripple you. But what if we could take that emotion and use it to drive you instead of it lay you out like that? The truth is negative emotions can give you that push, can give you that edge that you need if you use them wisely. It can be that factor that is when you really just don't feel like going to work out, when you really just don't feel like making that extra cold call, when you really just don't feel like going to work, but you know you need the money. It can be that push. It can be that edge to really help you do those things, even when you don't feel like it. And this can be seen by a lot of the athletes that probably you and me watch when they've faced adversity, when they've had to bring themselves back from injury, when they've got cut, when they've had to revitalize their careers. We've seen a lot of them use negative emotions to, 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 go, to get where they needed to go. We've seen them use it. Look at Michael Jordan. You've seen all the memes going around and I took that personally. Came personal with me. Michael Jordan used to use everything as his motivation. He used to hold that shit close to his chest. He used to use all that to motivate him. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. You think he, he used that to fuel him to become as great as he is. Elon Musk, when he was building SpaceX, he says in an interview, his heroes, the people he looked up to, the people that did space exploration, they doubted him. But I guarantee you that he used that doubt. He used that anger that he felt to go ahead and be, go ahead and become successful. Go ahead and make SpaceX a successful company. Look at Tom Brady. He gave 20 years to the Patriots, 20 years and a lot of championships. And then on the way out, he was treated like trash, thrown out like a bag of garbage. But I guarantee you, he used that. You know how crazy Tom Brady is. He used that. You think Bill Belichick didn't drive him? That's why he probably won that championship the very next year. The point I'm trying to make is that a lot of the greatest people, a lot of the most successful people, they don't run from their negative emotions all the time. Sometimes you gotta use them. Use them to push you in the direction you wanna go. And then finally, here are the three main reasons that you should use dark motivation. Number one, dark motivation, in my opinion, is more powerful. But I am giving you a warning right now. 
Dark motivation can be dangerous. I need you to think of it like a candle burning at both ends. This is not something that you should use all the time, 24 seven. No, this should be spurts of time that you use these negative emotions to push you to where you need to go. Another reason is dark motivation is one of the perfect tools for getting you out of a rut. Let's face it, emotions are up and down. Every day your life is up and down. And if we're just keeping it real, sometimes all the positive shit don't work. Sometimes following your passion and sticking to your heart and all that shit just doesn't work on Sundays. It doesn't get you motivated. It works on others, but not on every day. But on those days where you're not motivated, where you don't feel like doing anything. That might be a good time to use that dark motivation. It might be a good time to get fucking angry that your ex-girlfriend left you for somebody else. It might be time to get angry that the other person got a promotion instead of you, even though you've been working there longer. It might be time to get angry that somebody else got the job that you wanted. Or this girl told you you wasn't good enough. It might be time to use those emotions on days like that. And then the last reason is using dark motivation can help you turn your insecurities into flaws. Let's face it, we all got insecurities. We all got something that we insecure about. I got this, I got this ear right here that's lopsided. We all got something. But instead of lying to yourself, instead of telling yourself everything's okay, everything's gonna be great. No, I'm gonna tell you to go ahead and embrace that. Go ahead and embrace that insecurity you have. Go look in the mirror. Go look at your fat little belly. Go look at it. You know that's not how you wanna look. You know, I want you to imagine you going to a pool party and the baddies are all choosing all the dudes with abs and they not looking at your fat, flabby ass. I guarantee you, using that type of motivation, using that type of fear, it's going to make your ass go to the gym. You're going to go work out that day. I guarantee it. The point of this is to use your insecurity to drive you, to drive you, to push you. That's the whole point of all this, guys. Dark motivation is a very powerful way to motivate you especially when it comes to stepping out of your comfort zone. Fear is another great way, another great thing that will make you step out of your comfort zone. And honestly, sometimes that is the only thing that will make you step out of your comfort zone. I know you guys have all heard the saying, like there's nothing more dangerous than a corner animal. Or we've all seen on shows or in the news when somebody is about to survive and they pull off some superhuman feat to survive. And that's because fear and survival, all of that are very powerful motivators. And if you use those powerful motivators wisely and correctly, there's really nothing better to help you get out of that rut, to help you stay motivated, and, and even more importantly, to help you guys surpass your limits and reach your goals. That's why I brought this to you. That's why I want you to consider using dark motivation. But anyway, guys, if you found value in this video, you know exactly what to do. Wait, 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 never mind. I'm gonna be dropping a part two of this video because I I hate giving advice without practical ways to do it. I told you guys why we should use dark motivation, but in the next video, I'm gonna tell you guys how you can draw those emotions out and how you can use them wisely. All right, now back to regularly scheduled program. Anyway, if you found value in this video, you know exactly what to do. Go ahead and hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell, join the gang, 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 and I'll catch y'all in the next video. You know what it is, your boy Glasses out. Peace.